Before I begin, a shout out goes to SC94KHVIDS for showing me how to do this many years ago. So, link to that channel will be in the description. Now then, we'll be learning how to do MDLX and Maset Swapping. Before I get into that, let me go over the uses of it, though. Now, for random encounters in the game, they don't, they don't actually use uh, UCMs that you can just replace. I mean, some might, but everyone I've encountered hasn't. So what this allows you to do is to change what model and moveset would be loaded whenever an enemy would spawn. For this tutorial, we'll be replacing the, uh, the cars there. Let me just uh, get out of this room. Now in, order, now, in order to do this, you're gonna need to find the UCM of whatever it is you want to replace. For the cars, you know, it's probably in the 9s since it's a newer edition in Kingdom Hearts 2 Final Mix. Uh, yeah, Mad Bumper. That's it, so 0966. Now, you can actually make this file dump basically anywhere as long as it's not the main menu, I believe. I know you can make it anywhere, I'm just not sure if it works on the main menu or not. But, you know, you, you make that, and then go to 01C0, and then you'll want to make this window up here with shift and F3, or no, shift and 3, and type in the UCM. And if you don't get it immediately, just keep pressing F4. And you'll know when you have found the right slot for this, because then these labels will appear here. And this tells this first one tells you the MDLX, and this one tells you the move set. the uh, The line below the one you arrive at is actually the line for roll modding. So, you know, you can change the roll here if you want. We're not going over that though. So, in order, in order to do this, you'll need to copy all of, the, all of those addresses there for the MDLX, and then you have the move set. So, yeah, copying all of that. Now that you've done that, you need to you need to go to the UCM of what you want to replace it with. Uh, let's see, what's something good to replace it with? Uh, come on, that'd be something interesting. Okay, yeah, soldiers. We'll replace we'll replace them with soldiers. So go back to zero one C zero 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 zero. And then go to the UCM of what you want to replace. And I'm going to the soldier. No label there, so we keep going. And here we are. So, as you can see, uh, this one actually has a smaller name for its file than the Mad Bumper did. So, because there's nothing here, we just make it all zeros for, for any remaining lines. And if there happen to be any additional lines, then what you do is just, uh, you know, you'd, you'd add on another line, and then you'd put the data there. But Soldier only has uh, three lines, like the Mad Bumper, so we're in luck. Less work for us. So... Make sure that you apply, apply this in a room where they're not at and then you can go back into the room where you would want them to spawn. And we have soldiers. 
Definitely a lot easier to deal with than the cars. So, now we've done that, let's uh, talk about something else. Okay, so now we're going to talk about the indicator you can find on the location of an MDLX and move set that will tell you what UCM a mob spawns with, I don't know, like an attack or just some sort of AI thing, really. So, we're back at 010000, or 01C000. And we're going to be messing with a crowd of rapid thrusters. But first, we need to figure out what they spawn. So if we go to the crowd of rapid thrusters, scroll down a bit below the moveset, or MDLX, this thing has no moveset. And if we look here, we can see 558, and this is below, uh, you know, these four lines, which I'll come back to the, to the relevance of these later. So right here, we have 558, so we can tell that this one spawns 558, and then the X660 raw, you know, that's the, the raw rapid thrusters. Another example of this is Volcano Lord, which is 40B. Uh, that's not it. There we go. So, you know, scroll down below his moveset. And, you know, we have these four lines. And then this one, 7FB0689. So this one actually spawns two things. One for when it's, uh spawning little fire attacks on the ground or even the projectiles depending on the attack or when it explodes temporarily to spawn the little Aladdin Heartless so now that you know what that does we can go on to the next part of the tutorial Okay, next thing we're going to talk about is the spawn limiter. Now, in, in the next room, there's going to be a crowd of rapid thrusters. And I've replaced the mob they spawn with, which we saw the UCM list 558. I'm replacing that with the soldier, Heartless. But since we haven't changed four lines, the limiter still thinks that they're rapid thrusters. So you get a lot more than you probably should. And this is kind of cool and all, until you realize this is probably a bit too much for the game to handle. As you can see there. So clearly we need to fix something. Now let's go back to the UCM we saw. The crowd of rapid thrusters is 558. Now if you scroll some lines below the loop set, you see these four lines. Sometimes you only need to modify three, but in this case it's it's four because of uh, this line here. So you know we'll we'll replace all of those lines. We need to get all those addresses. And, uh, as usual, make this starting number a two. I usually just forget to mention that because you all can see me making the change. Anyways, now you go back to 01C0000. And you go to the UCM of who you're modifying. We're modifying the soldier in this case. Scroll down, find those lines. Uh, now this first line here is completely blank, so, you know, we just make it all zeros as well. Grab this. And that. And that. And that. 
So now the game will actually treat the uh, the rapid thrusters we replaced as soldiers as soldiers. Meaning they'll be limited properly. So, yep, there's only five of them. It's quite a step down in numbers, but... Hey, you know, you don't want your game crashing, right? Yeah, see, now that I'm sparing magnets, it's not crash, right? So, that's the use of the spawn limiter. Sometimes you just gotta... You just gotta use it. Give yourself a little extra work. Well, that's all for this tutorial. Uh, hopefully, you find your own uses for this. Enjoy.